So as you're working an offshore grass line or a shallow grass line and you're flipping a Texas rig, one thing you want to look for is any irregularities in that grass. You're looking for little points or pockets. So right here's a little open water pocket. I'm going to drop my Texas rig soft plastic down in that hole, let it get to the bottom, shake it a couple times, and wait for that bite. You want to use the, uh, the, uh, the, a big enough weight to get through the vegetation, but at the same time, you don't want to overpower it. So right now, I'm only in about six foot of water, and the vegetation isn't super thick. So I'm using a, a this is a 5 8 ounce tungsten weight, and it's just enough weight to get me down to the bottom, get me through that weed canopy, and get the bait down to where those bass are living. This was Glenn Walker with your Midwest Outdoors tip. Folks, when you catch a muskie, especially one that you play quite a while, what you want to do when you're releasing it, you want to make sure that you give that fish a lot of time in the water to revive. That fish just spent a lot of energy fighting you. And when you bring it in the boat, you want to make sure that it gives it the best opportunity to survive. Put them in the water, you don't have to drag them back and forth. Just let them get his equilibrium. And he'll tell you when they're supposed to go. Hang on to them, keep them upright. What I like to do is grab onto the tail and then he'll just say, see ya. Nice. But what the last thing you want to do is keep that fish out of a long time and then just drop him in the water and let him go. You want to make sure he revives revive himself, especially a good resource like that. You want to keep him strong. I'm Larry Ladowski, and that's another tip from Midwest Outdoors.